legs up faster, we're going to be late. Feel your home. Huh. Well, you like how? Too yuck to go to school. OK, well, I'll tell you what, we'll nip to the doctor's on the way. No, I hate it there. Not, babe, only for them to check you over. Listen, if you're feeling ill... I'm not. It's just, it's not fair that you get to hang out with Tom without us. Well, I didn't know that he was going to cancel all his meetings, did I? And anyway, we're going to be doing adult stuff. Boring stuff. Shopping. No, not shopping. Where have you got shopping from? Because he always buys you stuff when you hang out. Well, I wish that he didn't. It's not the reason that I'm with him, you know. And Sarah, please, don't pretend to be ill, OK? I was really worried then. Come on. Hurry up with them, please. Please, I'm freezing me bits off. Hey! What are you doing in there? Oh, you've been sniffing the nail polish. Oh, you just got a new wax fetish now? I heard a noise, so I thought I'd take a peek. You stole my keys? What else? What have you got hiding behind your back? Oh. You told him where we hid it. Why? You've been shopping. Why? Kerry, you go inside and open up. I need to sort out Mrs Dumfries' hair. Oh. Mrs D's dead? In her will, she's asked me to give her a bouffant beehive for a funeral today. Oh. Well, don't fret. She won't be all maggoty or anything. No, they've got that embalming stuff now. I ordered this before we agreed to stop spending. Oh, call 999 because your pants are smoking. If you get to keep your package, well, then I'm off to do some spending on me, huh? You agreed. No, we agreed not to use that money. And all the while, you've been living it up. I haven't. Anyway, what about Mrs D's long-lost relative? They're still lost. The money isn't. If we weren't supposed to spend it, we'd know by now. But we've only had good karma since the, uh, windfall. Let's just enjoy it, eh? sent us home. Why? Because we were in the way. They're probably better off waiting for news here anyway. What are they doing about finding him? Everything they can. They've put his details in a missing person's website. That's it? <sighs> well, he's 17. He's an adult to them. And he said he didn't want to live here, so they think that he's probably not so much missing, but more avoiding us. And probably thinking that they're right. What about his message for Belle? about life not being worth living last night, you thought he'd... that he'd hurt himself. Well, I know I'm starting to think more clearly. It's obviously just teenage angst. You know, when Lucky's hurt, he lashes out at other people, not himself. He, he wouldn't do anything stupid. Me and Sam can help look for him some more. Well, I thought you had a funeral to go to. The living are more important. No, go. There's no point all of us wasting our time worrying about him. Probably exactly what he wants. That little fool will come home when he's punished me enough. Which hopefully will be sooner rather than later. What's Rebecca said about Luckless? Is he still missing? Should I keep looking for him? I, I don't know. Are you heading up there now? I could use a lift. You know, check in with his mum and see what else I can do. I spoke to that policeman and gave him a few pointers about where Lachlan usually hangs out, but he didn't seem too hopeful. Hey, uh, get a latte to take away, please. Of course. Thank you. School knocks off early these days. Oh, burst pipe, they sent their class home. But considering you're trying to skive off early, I mean, it's like divine intervention. Whatever. Now I can go shopping with Mum and Tom. No, not shopping. It was lunch and I'm going to cancel anyway. Oh, no, babe, don't do that. Hey, I can stick her in the back room with me. No, it's fine. I've got a million boxes that I need to unpack. You're ditching Tom for boxes. Small ring. <laughs> hey, it's me. No. Not that sort of call. Actually, quite the opposite. Thanks for that. Not. Oh, you're not missing out on anything. Tom's not exactly Mr Fun, is he? Like you've ever met him? Oh. I have, actually. No, you haven't. That's Tom's driver. No, it isn't. It's too. All right, little Miss Saki Pants. Why would he pretend to be someone he's not? And why didn't your mum just tell me the truth if that was the case? 
Because she reckons she doesn't want you to meet the proper Tom. Are you serious? She actually said that? All right, well, if you're right about this other proper Tom, what's he like? He's not bald, he's not short, he's rich, he wants to be a Ninja Turtle and he totally gets Batman. So why would your mum be hiding him from me? Sarah, have that drink. Come on. Yeah, ask yourself. Um... <laughs> oh. Oh! Good, you're here. Did you ask him? Jay, um, big favour. We need you to take... Eliza, any, any chance you could take her an hour earlier? Absolutely. Take all the extra time I can get. Yeah, <laughs> because he needs the company. I mean, what is it? Uh, a ready meal for one again? Must be really hard being on your own with a no special someone who's over the moon every time you come in the room. Everyone needs some affection in their life. I'm not sure what I've walked in on here, but I'm really keen to walk out. My house stinks of dog pee. She went in the cheese plant. The cheese plant is dead frank, and that is the last straw. I, she's ruined my living room, my sleep. I, I was up all night sneezing. Jay is the perfect solution. He's not her type. What? Jay needs the company, Eliza needs to see that horrible mutt, and I need a tip-free life. What if she won't go with him? I mean, she's grown quite attached to me. Oh. You always knew that this was temporary. <sighs> It's either Jay or the rescue centre. Hello? Dad? Chris, are you back? What? Gives you possession of all my shares. You mean the shares you should never have stolen? I bought. Bex, I, I, I'm not fighting you, okay? You want the shares, they're yours. Well, they're Seb's. I mean, if I'm gonna lose money, then I want it to go to my son. You're in control of them until he turns 21. Here. Yeah, have a look while I take him. Don't touch him. I'm, I'm giving you what you want here. All the shares, no fight, no fuss. I'm, I'm going to back off, but not forever. You have to let me be a part of his life one day. No, I don't. He's my son. You don't get to call him that anymore. I mean it. You're out of his life now. Give them here. Goodbye, Robert. Bex, please. No. No more begging. No more giving you the benefit of the doubt. I've tried that, and every time you threw it in my face. I won't... Every single time, Robert. Now, my nephew is missing. And instead of helping my sister, I'm covering for you. Which I'm grateful for. Save it. I'm not helping you. I'm protecting them. They've got enough stress on their plates without me admitting you're the same viper you always were. Hey, you played us all for fools again. If these are what you say they are... They are. Then we never have to speak to you again. It was kind of Benice to do a funeral quiff. Oh, how wouldn't you refuse a dead woman's wishes? You know she's not getting a penny for it. So Mrs D was broken life and death. What spooked you? She rise from the dead. Worse, she lay there just silent and disappointed. Silence, good. You know, what with her being dead? She was judging me. What's she judging? You've been so kind to her. Oh, just my ex-husband call me during a crisis. What's your crisis? <laughs> Nothing. <sighs> what? Is your crisis contagious? Oh, my God, I've been poxed! I'm bored. Mm, you can always help me unpack, but you'll still have that insect project to do before tomorrow. Mm. Come in. This is Henry. Be kind. Mum doesn't want your presents anymore. It's not a present. It's Henry. Uh, Tom, I can't 
cancelled. I know, you cancelled lunch, but that's not why I'm here. I had a little thought. Hurt your brain, which did it. Hey, cheeky. Do you want to give me more sass, or do you want to come quad biking? Both. At neither. You've got a mountain of schoolwork to get through. Ooh, be faster if I help. Um, we've been through this. You just showing up whenever you want. Well, I was ridiculously gutted when you cancelled. I had to pull out all the stops. Oh, and you came up with quad biking, really? I came up with fun. You and me, fun. Hmm. And my stroppy 12-year-old that's really, really good at acting like a teen already. Part of the deal. Not bad as deals go. Ew, gross. I'm still here, you know. Does this mean we're going biking? Hmm. Ask me when you've done your homework. Hurry up and give me a hand, then. Righto. So what's all this thing? Okay. Ooh, it's like a black hole in here. Hit the lights. I've only got two hands and you fill both of them. I go on a spree of a lifetime. Well, I was owed, Jimmy. And some of these bags are yours. Mm. Oh! Oh! <sighs> Benice, you're hideous. Why are you covered in boils? Hives. What happened? Karma. It's finally caught up with us for all of that. And it's bad. Yeah, but it feels so good. We've got to give it all back. Every single penny, no messing about this time. We return every single item and get the money back to its rightful owner. Or what? You're looking at it. Karma's coming for you too. And you don't want to make it any worse. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, yeah, he signed the rug tree shares back over, but that doesn't mean it's legal. I mean, it's Robert. Yeah, I need you to have a look at them. Note today, please. Yeah, just, just make sure they're legal, that he can't back out. OK, thank you, Donald. Yeah, bye. Bye. They found Lucky. I was, I was kidding myself that he's OK. Why? Where is he? We don't know. The police might have found some of his things. They want me to go down there and identify them. Look, I can do it, Chrissy. No, no, I, I'm his mum. If they're his, I, I, I kind of... I need, I need to see for myself. Then let me drive. Where did they find his things? Well, we don't know. They're his. At the Connelton Reservoir. The police got a phone call saying there was a young man on the bridge and they haven't found a body yet, but they found his wallet and his jacket and... <laughs> they won't be his. Bex, there's no need for you to come. I can't let her do this without me. <sighs> OK, well, then we'll drop Seb with Robert. No. No, there, um... Oh. won't be enough time. Dad, if this is... If it is Lachlan's stuff... It won't be. If it is, he might as well have taken Chrissy over that bridge with him. Cos <sighs> this will end her. You're kicking me out. My answers were stellar. Better than Sarah's. They were not. But then you are just distracting her. I prefer to distract you. Mm -hmm. Come on. Take him away, please. Oh. There's a sight that needs looking at before quad biking. You still coming in? Well, we'll meet you there. Go on, go. rugged guy. Name's definitely not Tom, is it? Cos Sarah blabbed. So tell me this. Why would Graham pretend to be Tom and why would Tom even want to pretend? I mean, what are you all playing at? Nothing. You assumed. No, I was tricked and you know it. I'm very sorry if you got your wires crossed, Mother. So then why didn't you uncross them for me? Because it suited me. This thing with Tom is good. Great! And you have a way of making things bad. That's a slight overstatement. You tried to sleep with my boyfriend. Whoa! Make it sound like I was going to pounce on him or something. Oh. I would never have actually gone through with anything, babe. After you dumped him, I had to do something to get us out of this mess. Unbelievable. OK, look, I didn't know you actually liked him for him. As opposed to what? His money. I am not you. 
and I don't want you messing this up for me. Well, I need to see if he's good enough for you. Not up to you. Have you got a smile for Daddy? Oh, she has always got a smile for Daddy. Because you are a great dad. Mm. What do you want? It's what Eliza wants. Tip. Mm. Who? You know, Tip. You met this lovable little mm. rogue yesterday. <laughs> there you go, sir. <coughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> no refunds. Oh, she is smitten, Jay. And, and Tip is no trouble. She's so sweet. You know, she's irresistible. And, and so easy to live with. And, um, and she's house trained. Well, if she's so great, why are you trying to get rid? <laughs> I am not sneezing for fun, Jay. Look, I am allergic. Oh, she needs you. You know, just until the owner turns up or she can get rehomed. No. Oh, please. She's, she's Eliza's best friend. Then we'll find her better friends. And if it's only temporary, Eliza will have to say goodbye to Tip eventually. Yeah, but oh, she's all on her own and... You're all on your own. Are you trying to set me up with a stray dog out of pity? No, I am not a doggy dumping ground. I swear. Kiddo, I swear. You, is she mocking me? This is how losers talk. Right, we're racing again, and this time you are going to eat my dust. Dust? We're in Yorkshire in the middle of winter. OK, well, and you're going to eat my cow pat in five. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, this time, maybe don't let her win so easy. She might suspect you're not even trying. He's trying. He's just losing like a loser does. Three, two, one, go! Hey, that's cheeky! Bell, I thought you might have gone and done something really stupid. Look, all right, you have to go. Okay, and don't tell anyone you've seen me. Why not? Does your mum know you're all right? Is that the last of them? Uh, I told Kerry that you'd overordered hair dye as a cover. Oh, she'll see straight through that. You've blown it. I haven't. She said it was uh, typical of you. Typical? Uh, priorities, Benice. <clears throat> We've dragged the gear here like you ordered. Now, what's your plan? We return everything. And then we give the money back to the rightful heir, just as you said in the first place. I did Don't twist my words. I said we'd give it back if they turned up. It's been a week, no heir. They'll be at the funeral. <laughs> Were you really going in that state? I have to. Because of the karma. Oh, not you two. It's not karma. It's stress, because you've got the guilt about money that no one else even knows exists. I know. Karma knows. <sighs> this is the grief talking. Stop being so selfish and keep the stolen money. Look, you can't tell the relative how we got it unless you want us all thrown in prison. I've said I can't go to prison. Not even for you. Well, maybe... We forget this ever happened and enjoy a stroke of financial luck? No. Mrs D's relatives don't know me. So I could pretend to be a solicitor and say that she'd left the money in a separate will. Sounds dodgy. Any better ideas? Yes, keep the cash. We're supposed to be mates. The least you can do is give me a bit of a clue about what you're playing at. Mates? You told Robert I got it on with a prostitute that you called. He already knew. I just filled in the extra details. All right, my bad. But you clocked me for it anyway, and I forgive you. Now you can forgive me and explain why you want everyone to think you've disappeared. Look, just go upstairs right and I'll tell you. Look, if you want to be mates, then I'll shift. See, what are you doing? I'm, uh, I'm looking for his phone. He left everything else on the bridge before he... I don't know what he did. Don't we? He left everything else, so maybe it's here somewhere. Just... Chris, he took his phone. That's how he left the message for Belle. 
The one that I said was just teenage angst. Well, actually, he was in so much pain that he jumped on the... <laughs> you know what? You're not even racing her now. She's gonna cut it on to you. She's a clever kid. She's too clever. Just like her mum. Oh, smooth. What? Not doing it for you? I didn't say that. Not a bad patch, this. Who's the owner? Lawrence Wyatt and his daughters. What do they like? Uh, well, one of them's great. The rest are avoidable. Just typical, entitled, rich idiots. Ouch. Hurt your feelings. Got to stab harder than that. You're right, though. They are idiots. Who has a few like this unless any old random hire a quad bike and have the run of the place? Well, it's business, isn't it? Find the new one. Why share your land and home with strangers? Come on. She's waiting for us. The quad's broken. Broken? Oh, right, get into it. More mechanic. Give a look. Can't believe I just fallen for that. You didn't. You did. <laughs> Dale in half an hour.